Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. And once again, I have an Equa Genera. Is it Equa Genera or Equa Genera? I feel like it's probably Equa Genera. I don't know. Welcome to my show. I hope you like house plants. Cause we're gonna talk about them and touch their leaves. Anyways, I have an order <laughs> from them. <laughs> so I think I mentioned in uh, one of my past videos that um, they were having a Father's Day sale. Um, well, Father's Day like weekend sale. So someone on one of my online plant groups shared that and I was like, oh, well, I got some going over there and at least checking it out. Um, they were still sold out of fibrosum, which is not surprising. So still haven't gotten that guy, but I think I got something that I'm going to like just as much. So let's go ahead and get in it. Okay. <sighs> okay, let's see. What are you? Oh, I think I was gonna tell you guys too. I was gonna give you some updates on the remodel. So like if you go back and watch my first ever video, I'm talking about the kitchen and bathroom remodel. Yeah, it's still happening. There's just so many things that are going wrong. It's like everyone and their mother is remodeling this year. So um, everyone's super busy and the prices are really expensive. So we've had to like do some things differently and uh, I mean, I'm so thankful to my in-laws because my father-in-law is an electrician and he has been doing pretty much all the electrical with my husband and uh, it's just amazing. I can't, I just, you know, it's like things like that where you're just like, I can't even show my appreciation properly. You know what I mean? Cause it's like so amazing that saying thank you a hundred million times just still doesn't feel like enough gratitude. And then same with my brother-in-law. He's been helping a lot with the plumbing. Like a lot, a lot. Like doing a lot of the plumbing. Just himself. And I just, it's, it's been amazing. But, you know, our cabinets. Actually, the cabinets have been pretty okay. There's only been a couple of issues. But the tile, oh my god. Like, uh, so they were tiling. And it took like a whole week to secure the subfloor because we have an old house so they had to like keep putting screws in it to make it not creaky and stable enough to tile over so that took like a whole week and then the second week he was in and he he didn't even finish the kitchen and you guys we don't even have a big kitchen it's small it's a small kitchen and it, again it was because the floor is so uneven um let's see Oh, okay, so this is just my order slip. Ooh. I kind of forgot because these take so long to come in that I for, I forget what I ordered whenever I order from Equigenera. So anyways, so uh, took like a whole week to do most of the kitchen and then he ran out of kitchen tiles. So the guy, the tile contractor, the main contractor, like he didn't order enough tile. And uh, tile right now is taking like six weeks from ordering to arriving at the shop. And I was like, we just, we just can't do that. So they're like, okay, so we're going to try to expedite it and all this stuff. And so, and then the same with the bathroom, the bathroom floor tile didn't get ordered at all. It just straight up didn't get ordered, which is insane. <sighs> there was like some miscommunication where, I don't know, I don't even understand what happened, but it happened. So we're still waiting around the tile to come in. So I've been calling the guy like every other day. Anyways, so that took forever. So that's still not done, not even close. And then cabinets, there was some issues with the sink and it's just taken forever, you guys. Okay, here's the first plant. Let's not talk about all the crazy renovation drama, but maybe I'll like put some clips at the end of where we're at because it is starting to come together and it's, it's really cool <laughs> but anyways so this is the philodendron brancianum 
Um, and I can't remember what I paid, so I'll have to put the price on the screen. Um, like I always do. So this one I was like, um, it wasn't a wishlist plant or anything, but because of the sale, it was such a good price that I was just like, okay, I'll get it. Ooh, oh my goodness. Look at that. You always get such big plants from them too. It's just like, look at that. Oh my goodness. That's so pretty. It is for real. It's so pretty. I mean, the patterning is just, it's just gorgeous. And this is a good climber too. I'm definitely going to like train this up a piece of wood or something. I don't know. Very cute. Now let's, uh, I don't want to make a huge mess, but I definitely want to share what the roots look like for you guys because they always send their plants bare roots. Um, so it's nice that you can just open them up and take a look at the roots. And I also have started, when I get bare root plants, I don't actually pot them up right away. Um, I've put in, putting them in water like overnight and then putting them in sphag. So I'm going to be, do excuse me, I'm going to be doing the same with this guy. Okay. Okay. Let's see. There are some roots, but yeah, it's not a super huge root system. And they look okay. There's definitely some uh, good ones, but some of these look pretty haggard. So like I said, I'm going to put them into water right away and then put them in sag probably tomorrow. Okay, so there's that guy. Oh, he's so cute. Next plant. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so this is one that I hadn't seen before. Oh, one of these strips like fell down between my legs and I thought there was a bug crawling on me. <laughs> it wasn't a bug. <laughs> Okay, so this is called a philodendron tenu, or tenu. We're gonna go with tenu. Um, but I picked this one out just because I thought it had a really cool characteristic. And uh, let's see if this, well, because you know, sometimes you order them and you get juvenile plants and they don't have like that cool characteristic, like my, I got spider mites from like everything. Okay, that's a different story, but <laughs> my varicosum isn't like fuzzy yet, you know, because it's still so young. So that might, ooh. Whoa, look at these. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Shut up. All oh, these leaves are gorgeous. Look at that. It's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Let's see, and no, it doesn't have I'll try to like get one of the pictures from the web. I think this is the one that had the cool spikies on the, so I'll, I'll try to get you a picture from their website and put it like in the corner, but the, in the adult plant, there's like little hairs, spiky hairs that come up from this like center vein. And I thought that that was so cool and unique. You don't normally see that on plants. Um, but this is lovely. Like, I wasn't expecting the leaves to just, I don't know, they're just so pretty. They're really nice. <laughs> and then um, the stem has a lovely red color too, which is just, I mean, gorgeous. And I like how long, like, these are really, once this relaxes down, these are really going to, like, hang out because of how long the petiole is. I really, I really, really like this guy. And he's a really good size. Take a look at these roots. My neighbors are doing something outside, so if you hear like weird background noises, I'm sorry. <laughs> also, my husband is currently playing video games behind me, so if you hear lots of clickety clacks, that's what's going on. It's clickety clacking right now. Both of the cats were just in here, and I thought that they were gonna be really annoying in this video, like they were in my last one, <laughs> but they're, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. They're somewhere. 
Look at my shirt though, isn't it amazing? These are like embroidered kitty cats. I got it at Goodwill. This shirt definitely belonged to a little old lady and now it belongs to me. And I love it, it's like my favorite shirt. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see what we got. Gently remove the sphag. Okay, this one's got some longer roots. There's a couple of big ones for sure that I can see that look pretty healthy. Like, look at that fatty, there's a couple more fatties over here. So yeah, this is, um, this is really cute. By the way, I'm wearing the fake date hollow taco nail polish and it's like so pretty. Um, but yeah, this is, this looks pretty good. It's got some nice roots up on the second note as well. And yeah, really, really pretty. I like, I really, philodendron tenue. Check it out, you guys. Super cute. I like it. Mm -hmm. He's a good one. Sometimes you gotta just take a chance. And the nice thing about the ones that people aren't like crazy over is that you can get a really good deal. Okay. Last plant. There's only three. Whew. Okay, this one is... Huh. Did I... Are they... Wait a minute. Okay. Hold up. Let me know what you think. I'm going to have to Google it and I'll put the answer down there. But let's see. So, philodendron squami petiolatum is what I ordered. But this tag says philodendron squami kalue? Kalue? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, you guys, so I don't know how to like make video from screen capture and I don't feel like learning how to do it right now. So I'm just pointing my camera at the website. Um, well, Google images, but this is the image from the Equigenera website of what I ordered, the Squami Petiolatum. And then here from Equigenera, this is the Squami Kaule. Kaule. And this is definitely the one I received. Like, uh, look at the, um, what do they call that? This part of the leaf. The sinus, I think, is sort of U-shaped. And then if we go back to the petiolatum, you can see this is the best one, but there's not that distinctive U-shape. Also, look at the color of the new, um, the new little leaf bud coming up. And then also look at how the hairs are really thick green hairs on the petiole, but then the main stem is smooth. Now let's go back to the one they sent me. The petiole is hairy and you can't see it super well, but you'll, you'll see it in the video. The stem itself is also a little bit hairy. So yeah, they definitely sent me the wrong plant. So I'm gonna have to message them. Um, I don't mind so much because this is a really cool plant. I'm like, I'm not complaining, I really like it. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the one I ordered. <laughs> so yeah. All right, so maybe in a future video, I'll let you know how that goes. Are they the same thing? I hope so. <laughs> We'll see. This one, I this is the one that I think might scratch my fibrosum itch because it's got fuzzy petioles. <gasps> They're fuzzy. <gasps> oh my good. Oh no. You guys. <laughs> it doesn't look very good. Oh, it looks very sad. Look at this guy. And look, there's a whole leaf that just came off. This leaf looks and feels very healthy still. This one, this one's not gonna make it. I can tell you right now, it's not gonna make it. But look, look, look at how fuzzy the petioles are. Oh. And here, so this is very fibrosome-esque. This like little new little guy. Oh, he's so fuzzy. It feels, 
I don't know. I can't really describe it. It feels kind of like kiwi. I would say like a kiwi skin. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm a little worried though. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Like, do you see how it's nice and red? And then this part is like really brown and hard and woody. So maybe it's like supposed to be like that when it gets big. I'm really sad that this had two leaves drop off of it. And it, like I said, this other one is definitely not going to make it. Oh, it's very sad. Um, I'm going to do my best though. Let's see what the roots look like. Okay. Not great. I mean, there's lots of, I mean, for how big, like this is tiny, tiny roots. And let's see. Mm, they're, they're not healthy. The roots are not healthy. I'm telling you right now. It's a, uh, man. I'm gonna give it my best though. This is the, this is, honestly you guys, I feel like I've talked a lot about plants that haven't been doing well since I got them and things that maybe happened. And it's like, if you get a plant from the store, if you buy a plant online, it's just like, you are taking a risk because they're plants, they're living creatures and shit happens. I mean, sometimes things happen and you you don't get a nice healthy plant or it looks healthy when you get it and then it crashes and um oh that just came right off didn't it oh no it's okay we'll see <laughs> i'm gonna give this guy a shot but look at how pretty it is let's focus on that it's gorgeous it's super pretty and i really want it to make it Anyways, <laughs> let's not focus on that one, but it is pretty. And I think, I think I can get it to be okay. We'll see. I'm going to put it in water overnight and then we'll see how the roots look tomorrow. If they're really uh, slimy and they kind of like fall apart in my hands, I probably will cut off most of the roots. Um, just go ahead and cut this leaf off and then put this guy in, in the, his node in sphagnum and see like that will probably be the best because if it's already in really bad decline and the roots are dead, leaving dead roots on isn't doing the plant any favors. Um, they'll start to rot. They'll cause mold issues in your sphagnum. They'll make the water all yucky if you're trying to like water prop them. Um, yeah, it's just, there's no point in keeping them on there. Jetty, my goodness. You wanna come say hi? <laughs> He's like, no, I don't. Come here. Jetty. Get your fluffy butt over here. Jetty. No, he's gone. So, ooh, let's pick them all up. Plant names can be kind of confusing sometimes. Um, it doesn't help that the naming convention for like all scientific names changed several years ago. So sometimes people call things by their old Latin name. Sometimes people call them by their new Latin name. And then when you get into common names, it's just like, pff, throw all the rules out the window. You just call anything, anything. Like the string of plants, like most of them are not related <laughs> to each other at all. It's like string of bananas and string of watermelons are related. And like string of fish hooks, those are all the same, but then string of hearts is its own thing, corpegii, and then uh, string of turtles is its own thing, right? Because string of turtles is, I can't remember. Yeah, but then the string of frogs is completely unrelated to any of those because it's a ficus. <laughs> Anyways, here's my plants. They're so cute. Um. Like I said, the Brandiantum is in really good shape, really healthy. Um, it probably has the 
second to best roots. And then uh, this guy, the 10U Philodendron, so these are all Philodendron, <laughs> the Philodendron 10U, uh, I would say it's probably the healthiest, has the nicest roots, nice big healthy leaves. All the leaves are really healthy. They all are flipping gorgeous. And then this uh, Squammy, whichever Squammy it is, <laughs> is, um, he needs a little TLC, but we'll, we'll get him going. This is a little fuzzy stems. It's so cute. Okay, so let's start over here in the dining room. So we've painted and uh, took up the floor. So this hardwood was underneath, which is awesome. And uh, hi, Chetty. Chetty. Hey. Yeah, walk out and get on those baseboards. <laughs> okay, and then all the baseboard, we still have to put, um, our first coat of paint on all the baseboards and trim and then the doors as well so that's the bifold closet door and then that's the door for the bathroom and then so the rest is just kind of like a construction zone because <laughs> this is where we have the most room right now to just do projects and stuff this is the kitchen <laughs> don't look at the fan it's like super gross but it's it's drying the grout way out in the mud room um but yeah look at this kitchen you guys you guys <laughs> so over here we're actually doing um what's called a larder which is basically like a pantry that goes on top of the counter um they're pretty standard in europe and stuff i guess so that is what this guy right here is. It's waiting to be installed. Um, but yeah, look at these countertops. This is quartz countertops. I've never had like a stone countertop in my life, so it's incredible. And my, my adorable pink cabinets, I just, I love them so much. And everything, is a soft clothes. Heck yeah. And then we've got our nice sink, the little farmhouse sink. That was the one thing in the kitchen that Matt really wanted. Um, and we've got open shelving over here because there's a beam that we couldn't do anything about. Um, so we could, I didn't want to put like uppers over here. So we decided to do floating shelves, which I think is really great. Um, here's one of my favorite things. So the upper cabinets are all white and look at my beautiful glass knobs. <laughs> I love them so much. And then uh, my fridge, you guys, <laughs> how sexy is that? Big chill, baby. <laughs> I love it so much. This was like the one thing that um, I really wanted to splurge on was a cool retro looking refrigerator. So I'm glad I got that. Good job, baby. Yeah, so here's the cabinets. They're in. There's a shop back. <laughs> and then the mud room is pretty bare bones right now. Hi, baby. You're very cute. Mm -hmm. But uh, the floor finally is done. And uh, this is where the closet's going to be. And then this little cubby here is where Matt's kegerator is going to go. Because he likes to brew beer. Look at that kitchen. All right, I can't actually go in the bathroom because he just laid this thin set. So. I can't go in there because it's drying. But there are the bathroom cabinets. So we've got a really nice tall linen closet over here on the side. And then that's a black granite and we've got gold, like a brushed gold hardware or faucets. The hardware is this black. Um, but yeah, so we can install the vanity and the mirrors um, and then, yeah, the 
The shower is coming along. It's got the, black, the back wall tiled. It's been interesting because nothing in this house is square. So you can see um, running up this side how there's like gaps. Oh, sorry, there's gaps up at the top where there's not gaps at the bottom. That's because it's not even. <laughs> like the wall is narrower at the bottom than it is at the top. So, um, but yeah, there's going to be some shelves for shampoo and stuff in that little cubby. And then I'm putting uh, this really pretty wallpaper on this wall that I, so I painted like where the seams are gonna be just in case I don't want any, it's a very dark wallpaper. So I just wanna make sure that everywhere there's like an edge or a seam, there's not going to be any like bright white wall showing through. So that's why I, I did that. But yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see the wallpaper. You're gonna love it. So yeah, but this right here, so that's for the bathtub drain. We're getting a freestanding bathtub there. And then the toilet, of course, is goes right there. So coming along, the bathroom is definitely further away from completion than the kitchen. <laughs> Say goodbye, baby. Oh, I was going to say another thing about Equigenera. So, I know I'm like new to orchids and I have talked about my orchids before, but it's definitely not one of the main focuses of this channel. But um, I would say that as far as plants I've gotten from Equigenera, the orchids have been in the roughest shape when they get here. Like the roots are either too wet and they've rotted or they've gotten too dry and they've died. It's just like, I think every single one of the orchids I've bought from them, I've had to basically grow new roots on. And I mean, it's like, <laughs> I guess I'm jumping into the deep end with orchids and just um, getting the most challenging cases I can <laughs> right off the bat. I have lost a couple so that Hannah and Pop out, pff, gone, never grew roots on it, it is dead. And then, really sad my sherry baby is not doing well so I don't know but um, most of them are doing okay and they're like bouncing back so so there's that <laughs> um, anyways thank you again so much for joining me if you order from Equigenera definitely try to catch one of their sales and you know take a chance on something like this tenu I just was like well I don't know what it is but it's cool and I'm gonna buy it um, and it's awesome it's probably my favorite out of this haul so yeah, take a chance on a, a plant weirdo. I'm always, um, you know, take a chance on a plant, plant weirdo. Take a chance on a human weirdo if you want to. And take a chance on a cat weirdo. Just all the weirdos. They deserve chances too. All right. So um, be good to yourself. Be good to your friends. Be good to your plants. And be good to the animals. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you liked my plans. Go and have yourself a real nice day and I'll see you next time.